Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continued playing Let's Play Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, the seventh game in the Ace Attorney series for the PS5. My name is the Fightless Bear. This is your Sorbius Gaming Channel, and today, today we had to do something a little bit different because instead of continuing through the normal game, we have to play the DLC first because chronologically. The DLC comes next. Why did they make the DLC at the end instead of in the middle where it goes? I have no idea. But I do know that's what I've been told to do. So that's what we're gonna do. So instead of jumping into case number three, we're jumping into case number, well, what should have been three, I guess. <laughs> My name is Phoenix Wright, head of the Wright Anything Agency and a lawyer. Although, I was doing something else entirely for a while there. As for why I decided to formally get back into lawyering, let's just say there's unfinished business to take care of. Anyway, I thought I'd reminisce about my first case back on the job, and what a case it was. It happened only a few months after Athena joined our office. Special episode, Tournament Reclaimed. I hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Oh, a pirate ship. Let's one piece this all up, I guess. <laughs> the killer whale has... He made it just in time. He's got a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> we be pirates. We love to sail the seven seas. Just a bunch of scallywags who are as free as free can be. We swim through storms and waves all because you see. Grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oh, this is like at a SeaWorld event or something. How cool is that? That would be amazing to watch live. Absolutely incredible. July 20th, 1237 PM. The Right Anything Agency. Today is my first day back on the job as a lawyer. Putting this attorney's badge on again really makes it hit home. Boy, am I pumped. Even Trucy said, looking good, daddy. So, Athena, Apollo, what do you think of the old attorney's badge? Wow! This ship shape of cream show is great! I can't get enough of it! <laughs> um, Athena. I still can't believe they showed the swashbuckler spectacular on TV. Good thing I recorded this. Now, who's ready for another viewing? I am. That was actually pretty cool. You've already watched it five times. Let's watch something else now. How can you even suggest such a thing? This show is therapeutic. It needs more penguins, but it still seems pretty cool. Uh, boss here, asking you guys a question. What's so therapeutic about watching a killer whale? What? Don't you know anything? Animal assisted therapy is an established psychiatric treatment. You're kidding. That kind of thing really exists? It's a real thing. I've been to the aquarium myself to try it, and it really helps. I still go there every now and then to further my psychological studies. The last time I went, I saw a dolphin and an orca swimming around together. It was so... Uh, hey, um, hello. Do, do you two think you could quit goofing off and do some work for a change? Work? Well, we've already cleaned the toilet. Twice. Each. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I is that your badge I see? Wow, congrats on getting your attorney's badge back, boss. Thanks. Starting today, I am officially a lawyer again. Sheesh, took him long enough to notice. Gee, Mr. Wright, with that badge on, you suddenly look so capable. Ha ha ha. Um, thanks? It's not like I was some lazy bum, you know. 
Well, what made you suddenly so fired up to get your badge back anyway? Oh, well. I made a promise to a certain someone. An important promise. What could be so important? Anyway, we have three lawyers now. So we better be taking on, or start taking on, lots of work. I'm all for that. Let's get this agency hopping. Well, we have plenty of enthusiasm. All we need now are some clients. It's been eight years since I last wore this badge. I feel like a Wookiee all over again. And this just in breaking news! The owner of Ship Shape Aquarium, Captain Jack Shipley, has been murdered! The suspect in the case is reportedly already in custody inside the aquarium. Isn't that the aquarium we were just watching, Athena? It is. I can't believe it. A murder at Ship Shape Aquarium? But I love that place. We need to get to the bottom of this. Really? I guess I'm in luck then. Who's talking? Oh, hello? I need Phoenix Wright to save my friend. Who in the world is this? Um, are you a client? Yeah, she's uh, the girl from the video. Wait, that costume, it just looks like... It looks just like... I've got it. I must work at Ship Ship Aquarium. Dude, you just watched the video. That's right. You minnow it. I'm Sasha Buckler. I perform it like an agile catfish in a pirate show. It'll bullfish your mind. Minnow? Bullfish? Those puns floundered a bit. <laughs> nice one. Hee <laughs> hee. I figured out the client's identity. Chuck one up for analytical psychology. Or psychology. My friend is under suspicion of murder. So I really need some help. That's why I gotta find this Phoenix Wright guy. Well, I'm Phoenix Wright. And this is Apollo Justice and Athena Sykes. They're lawyers too. There's anything you need? All you have to do is ask. The same goes for me too, Miss Buckler. Aha, just call me Sasha. And I'll call you all by your first names too. That's alright. Phoenix, Apollo, Athena, you have to help me. Please save my friend. Guess we better start by asking more about a defense request. Oh, hello, you. Uh, let's look around. Uh, first off, look in here. Uh, it's my all-important badge. Proof of my profession. Athena Sykes, age 18, a new lawyer at my agency. She studied psychology while she was in Europe. I apologize to age 23. An already young lawyer at my agency. His special feature is his very loud voice. Tracy Wright, age 16. My daughter, who also happens to be an aspiring magician. I adopted eight years ago. And Sasha Buckler, age 22. The employee of Ship Shape Aquarium came to me for help. She's a performer in the Squash Buckler Spectacular. I like her earrings in her, uh, in her star eye. I mean, the star eye matches her hat as well, and she has it on her chest too. A really cool design, and the, uh, the pink and the black and the white looks awesome. Ah, hello, your defense request. Miss Buckler, Sasha. Could you tell us more about what, why you need our help? My friend is suspected of murdering the captain of Ship Ship Aquarium. Captain, I thought the victim was the owner of the aquarium. Oh wow, look how cool that is. Oh yeah, I see the mustache on the orca. That's so cool. And you got an octopus with a sword in it. Oh man, this place looks awesome. I want to go here. Yeah, well, our aquarium has a pirate ship theme. That's why we call the owner our captain. We call the employees crew, too. But that's a pretty unusual aquarium we've got there. Anyway, one of the crew members, my friend, is being suspected of the captain's murder. They've already decided that she's guilty. I think they're going to give her the death penalty. What? What happened to due process? But my friend is as sweet and gentle as a whale shark. I mean, she wouldn't hurt a guppy. I know there's no way she murdered anyone. They won't believe me. What would the name like right? I figured he'd be able to help me set them straight. Wait a minute. Don't tell me she picked you all because of a bad pun. <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> Ouch. I see my reputation doesn't precede me. Well, I mean, you just got your badge back and you haven't practiced in like eight years, right? 
But seriously, my name can't be the real reason she's here. Why request me? I like her cross too. It's not a cross, it's an anchor, but it looks like a cross anchor. I mean, it's, ah, oh, she's got style. What's the real reason you picked me, Sasha? Well, to be honest, I asked a whole slew of lawyers, but they all refused. They said stuff like, there's no merit to taking a case. I'm not sure I can help. They're all as cool as sharks, with hearts pure than white bait. Oh, I can really feel such a frustration. With nobody on her side, she must feel all alone. But helping people like her is the whole reason I became a lawyer in the first place. And then I heard about a lawyer named Phoenix Wright. They say he defends clients to the end, no matter how bleak their circumstances. Hmm, guess my rotation does precede me. I'm not sure how well deserved it is, though. I thought to myself, if anybody can save my friend, it's you, Phoenix. Quite a tall order there for a man who just got his badge back. But I don't want to let Sasha down, or her friend. Let's help her, Mr. Wright. Let's save her friend. That's just what I was thinking. Sasha, we'll accept your case. Y you will? Yeah! Oh, thank you! You're a lifesaver, literally! Well, no time to sit around and mullet over things. I want you to meet my friend right away. Come to Ship Ship Aquarium with me. You got it! And I'll go too. Whole team is together. Sorry, but I need you to stay here and keep an eye on the office until Trucy gets back. Okay, well, I guess the whole team's not together. Dang it, Phoenix! You never know when a new client might stop by. Well, how come I'm the one who has to stay behind? Thanks a million, Apollo. Well, ladies, let's move to the aquarium, shall we? I guess I could talk to him. I'll do- yeah, I guess I'll do that. I mean, we know where to go, but... We may have dialogue. The return of the legendary lawyer. It's kind of exciting. Kind of. So, how do I look with it? Wow, you present that thing like a real pro. You must have done it a thousand times. It never really seems like enough to just have it pinned to my lapel for some reason. I get some- I get wine to show it off. Oh, he's got his on his, um... Whatever. Is that called a lapel? I don't know. Whatever that's called. When I first became a lawyer, I flashed that badge left and right. Yes, we did. Uh, you still do that, actually. Yes, we do. I mean, it's part of being a lawyer, right? What to do? So, what do you think about this case, Apollo? The murder of the owner of Ship Shape Aquarium? Hmm. Gah! I can't think with you looking at me so expectantly. <laughs> I don't really have any ideas. Sorry, I'm not any help. But you are a help. As long as you're the one playing officer, you're fine. Hey, there's Apollo's favorite word. I think I'll say it a few times too. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> are you two making fun of me? No, absolutely not. I mean, who, us? Of course not. I would just ink in your chain a little. Any ideas? So, any ideas for us? Well, I think you should give that Let's watch my clip video a glance. Starting to become a fan too, huh? I knew you'd like it if you give it a chance. It's not so much that. I just thought it might give you some leads, seeing as it's a scene of the crime and all. That's a good idea. I'll take a look when I get a second. I got nothing better to do, so maybe I'll watch it a few times myself. Apollo, please try to find something better to do. Okay, let's move out. We are going to the ship ship aquarium. Oh, look how cool this place is. Dude, I want to go here so bad. July 20th, ship ship aquarium, aqua tunnel. Oh, look how pretty this is. Ah, oh, it's amazing. I hope they have penguins. Oh, look at the sharks. My mom would love this place. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's just like being under the sea. Yeah, this is the aqua tunnel. A pride and joy. I'm really glad you like it. Oh my god, the puns, I love them! I'm going to go on ahead and fill the detective in on your arrival. Take a look around the tunnel, and then come meet me at the pool up on the head on the right. 
Hey, boss. Look at this cute little fish. Hmm. I bet it would be delicious grilled. <laughs> Seriously? Is that really all you can think of? Well, I didn't get to eat lunch today. Oh, and here comes some grilled chicken. I haven't eaten that all either. No! Don't dance! Grilled chicken! Oh, it's a adorable penguin! Oh, It's a penguin! Look, it's so cute! He's got a sword and all! Oh. oh, I so badly want to go here right now. Can I? Can I? Like, can we figure out where this place is? Oh, it's so adorable! That's not a chicken, it's a penguin. Come here, little cutie. How dare you call it a grilled chicken? Come on, Phoenix. Oh, it's so cute. It ignored me. Maybe it was hungry too. Oh, look, it dropped something. Ah, it's an ad for the Swashbuckler Spectacular Show. Wow, this penguin's awesome, it does free advertising. That penguin had a whole bunch of these stuffed in his backpack. So it's passed out flyers, huh? How cute! I know, I want to go here so badly. A carrier penguin that distributes flyers? We could use one of those for our office. Swashbuckler flyer, add it to the court record. An advertisement showing an orca dressed up like a pirate. It was dropped by an adorable little penguin! Well, can't keep the client waiting. We better get going. Hold on, I'm gonna look at the uh, flyer. Brand new stage show. Captain Orla has a new rival featuring the dashing red stash with a fluttering red scarf. Who will obtain the gold coins hidden in the skull rock? Yeah, you're right. Time to fill up our sleeves. I hope we can talk to the penguin more. I don't care if you can't talk to a penguin. I can talk to a penguin, okay? I'm a flightless bird. It's what I do. I want I want to I want to mingle with my species. July 20th, Ship Safe Aquarium? Who knows what else time or date? Even though you probably should know. Huh? I don't see Sasha. Hi, Bobby. Kind of jump scared me there a little. We go from adorable penguin to the... The Hounds of Justice! Actually, I don't know if it's the Hounds of Justice, but anyway. <clears throat> that's like the shield. Anyway, yeah. Ah, oh, are you to the lawyers Mr. Buckler mentioned? Detective Fulbright, are you the lead detective on this case? That's right! As long as evil exists in this world, there'll be no rest for me! And who is your sea urchin like friend there? I don't believe we met. Is he talking about me? I'm the defendant's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Well, I'm Detective Bobby Fulbright! People don't usually get to see this area. It's only open now because of the investigation! You two are pretty lucky to get this peek behind the scenes of an aquarium. Lucky? Right. This guy is even louder than Apollo. <laughs> so, where is the suspect being questioned? And where is Miss Buckler? Here I be, me buckos. Okay, that's not the girl I thought it was. This is someone new. Oh, nope. I guess it is her. Look at that. Eek! Arg! Shiver me timbers. There be one of the dread pirate nostaches, scurvy swabs. Wow, the artwork is just so amazing. I beg your pardon. I'm not anyone swab, scurvy or otherwise. More shameless than a sea line you be. Trying to make off with me best buckle. If you want to pick a fight with us, you best bring along an army of great red sharks. Oh, hello, little guy. Aww. Even though, don't these things eat penguins? Um, I'm pretty sure it's a friendly orca. All the animations. Too bad we didn't get a penguin waddle animation of him walling off. That would have been best. So, Sasha, what's going on here? Let me introduce you. This is a friend I was telling you about. Her name is Oda Shipley. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> Sorry, um, <clears throat> that, that, uh, that, that got me told by surprise, and, uh, I, I really don't know how to respond, so let me get this straight. The killer whale is accused of murdering the captain. And because of that, they're gonna put the killer whale down because he's an animal. And when animals kill people, that's something that happens, right? 
But at the same time, the reason there's no due process is because it's an animal. We're defending an animal, which I don't mind. I wouldn't mind if it was a penguin. I kind of mind if it's something that eats penguins. Someone really needs to like let me know if uh, orcas eat penguins or not, because this may change my entire view of this whole case. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're defending a killer whale. Or an orca, whatever. She, she does look really cute though, I will say that. But she only responds to Ola, so that's what people call her. I'm a trainer. She is a suspect in the matter, but she never hurt anybody. She's the suspect? Yeah, and thank goodness you came before they put it down. I'm really grateful to the two of you. I'll just let, I'll just know that you'll save Ola. What? Don't tell me you didn't even know who your client was. A an orca is a suspect. Our client is an orca. I is this for real? Oh, did I forget to mention? Oopsie. That's one very big oopsie. By the way, what was that, that mustache earlier? Oh, this be part of my costume for the Swashbuckler Spectacular. When I be wearing the mustache, I be one of Captain Ola's Swashbucklers. A transformation as dramatic as a puffer fishes. What did you say? I don't think I would ever say that. It's a pirate themed aquarium. So that's why Ola is wearing a pirate hat, right? Yep. She really loves wearing hats. She puts them on all the time. But a fake mustache keeps falling off, so that's a problem. I I see. Well, why don't we start with you telling us a little bit more about Ola? Sorry, sea creatures are the only things I know anything about. That's all right. Don't worry about it. Gee, I didn't mean to put her in a funk. It's kind of weird that I could skip some text when I shouldn't be able to. Do you two want to be in this special spectacular? You have regular people participate. Of course. We even have a special tour for people who want to be in it. What roles would we play if we said yes? Well, let's see. The roles of a blue seahorse and a yellow sea slug are available. Judging by the colors, I must be the seahorse. A and I'm the sea slug? No way! I won't do it! But sea slugs are all fluttery and beautiful, Athena. They're beautiful. In that case, I'll do it. Wow, it doesn't take much to twist her arm. Her mind is pretty much an open book. Ha ha ha. I hope we can do a show together someday. Ola the Orca. So you're really serious about me defending Ola? Of course I am. You're the only one who can do it, Phoenix. I heard he once questioned an animal during the- <laughs> That's why she found us. She heard about the parrot, or she heard me talking about parrot. I mean, how many times did I mention the parrot in the last case? That is so beautiful that they bring it up now. Oh, that is, that is amazing. Oh, this game and I are on the same wavelength. It's great. I heard you once questioned an animal during a trial, and that got your client off the hook. No way! You did that? I, uh, might have tried something like that at one point in my career. Oh, you're gonna have to tell me about this later. I'll ask Apollo for all the juicy details. When I heard you didn't discriminate against animals, I knew you'd hear me out. I have to warn you, though. I don't know anything about orcas. I mean, they don't eat people. Do they? Yikes! I think I made her mad. I won't have you talk that way in front of Ola. Orcas have feelings too, you know. Well, yeah, boss. They have emotions just like we do. 
So sorry, is anger the only feeling I inspire in woman? Don't worry, she says she forgives you. Besides, orcas are very picky eaters. Orca here only eats fish. The captain went to feed Ola this morning, and then he was found dead in this very room. Okay, they only fish, so we're good with the penguin thing. I mean, I, I don't think I could offend someone who eats penguins, it just won't happen. Could you tell us more about his death? About the murder. So the owner of the aquarium, Jack Shipley, was discovered murdered. Yeah, it was about 10.10 10 this morning, just after the aquarium opened. A visitor was viewing the orca pole from the visitor's corridor and screamed. The orca pole is this tank here. Yeah, that's right. This pole is built so the guests can see it from the corridor on the first floor. The security guard and I heard the scream and came running into this pool room. That picture almost looks like something out of Dango Hapa. Well, we found the captain dead at the side of the pool in his swashbuckler costume. He was as big and tough as an old crocodile, the captain. I still can't believe he's dead. Mr. Shipley was very important to you, wasn't he? Sorry, I didn't mean to get all sad goldfish on you. Sad goldfish? Okay, time to snap her out of it. Oh, God. When it's showtime, it's time to smile. That's what the captain always said. Uh, by the way, do you know exactly what the Ola is being accused of the crime? Why is Ola accused? Can you think of any reason why Ola would come under suspicion? Ah, the police think Ola went berserk during practice for this washbuckler spectacular. But Ola would never do anything like that. Right, Ola? It is cute. Ah, just look at that face. Isn't she adorable? The charges just have to be false. I hate to break it to you, but the police don't usually base their decisions on cuteness. That's right! We base them on Vox! Just take a look at this! Okay, he has a um, plug coming out of the back of his head. He also has what looks like a rip jacket on the side, the top side there. Uh, treasure spilling out. I mean, I I'm looking at that wound on the top of the head and... What would cause that? A photo of the victim, huh? He's got a wound on his head. Yeah, I was just saying that. Very perceptive. The victim of the orca with the only ones here. What's more, we couldn't find a weapon of any kind around. Photo of the body adds to court record. A crime scene photo taken in the orca pool room. It's hard to make out the details of the body. So, what's the theory on how Ola supposedly killed the victim? They say orca sometimes kill their prey by ramming them into them underwater. We believe this orca did just that by pulling the victim into a 65 feet pool. And then ramming him while they were in the water. Seems very elaborate, even for an orca. Hmm, without any suspects besides Ola, this could be one tough case. Orca pool diagram added to the court record. A cross-section view of the first and second pool sections of the orca pool. The pool is about 65 feet deep. I mean, I, I mean the, 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 the fact that, they, that the orca rammed into him and he was able to crawl out seems really weird, doesn't it? No, official autopsy has been ordered, but an orca attack makes sense. Why hasn't one been ordered? An accidental death due to a failure to exercise proper oversight over an animal. The medical examiner said it wasn't a homicide, so we don't need an autopsy. So all that's going to be put down without a proper investigation? That isn't fair. There's nothing short of police negligence, Detective Fulbright. The incident wasn't determined a homicide, so there's nothing we can do, Miss Sykes. Ordinarily, the owner of the aquarium would be held responsible for the oversight failure. But the owner is the victim himself, so all we can do is hold the orca responsible. Phoenix, isn't there anything that you can do? They're going to put Orla down. Sasha and Orla are depending on me. I want to do everything I can to help them. 
How do I help an orca? Wait. Yes, I can do this. Um. I mean, they're all good. Find the real killer seems like the best option. Let me go ahead and drop a save here. Cool. It's kind of confusing because the auto save is on chapter three. Uh, set all up free. I mean, I, th these two seem to be right in, so this seems to be weird. So let's see what happens if we click this one. I all set all up free. Okay, I'll go open the water gate. If you think I'll just let you set the suspect free, you've got another thing coming. Alex, to you, punk. I guess until I can actually try to prove all his innocence. I can't truly really set her sail set of free, which means yes, I can do this. Okay, well both of these seem like the right answer. So it doesn't really matter which one we choose. But finding the real killer is yeah. I'll find the real killer. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. And I'll do everything I can to help you. Wait, just one moment. You're not a police officer or a prosecutor. You're not even officially a defendant's lawyer. You have no right to investigate. I'm not officially Orca Ola's lawyer, huh? Well, in that case, I know exactly what I had to do. Yes, I can do this. Oh, okay. Defend Ola in court. We had to basically say that we're going to take the defense. That's cool, though. I, I like how I was able to choose all the options. I got my badge back now, so I know exactly what I had to do. I'll defend Ola in court. Huh? Even an orca deserves a fair trial. If the one responsible for Ola is dead, then I'll take responsibility for her. Yo, what? I guess doing crazy things just once in a career wasn't enough, huh? <laughs> but what the heck? I'll take responsibility for her too. Are you two absolutely insane? This is a case of accidental death caused by an animal. It's not a murder case. With no evidence of foul play, this case will never go to court. Well, then let us investigate the crime scene. If we can prove this was a murder, we might be able to take it to a trial. And then Ola would certainly need the help of a few good lawyers. Hmm, I guess so. But who's ever heard of a trial for a killer whale? Just because it's never been done before doesn't mean we can't do it now. But... Mm, uh... Please, Detective Fulbright, for justice's sake. Hmm, oh, the dogs! I guess the police have determined that an animal has, has harmed a human should be put down. But I don't know for sure whether that was a just decision. If your sense of justice compels you to take on the defense of this animal, then my sense of justice tells me to let this case be re examined for possible merit. You mean it? Really? That's fantastic. You're not such a bad guy at all, Detective Fulbright. Just remember, this case hasn't been officially recognized as a homicide yet. I'll get in touch with the prosecutor's office, but I'm not making any promises. Anyway, I'd better be off. What are the prosecutors going to be? Is it going to be a uh, black quill, or is it going to be a uh, pain? Or is someone new entirely just for the DLC? You two are a lifeboat. I'll be right here if you need me. Thanks. I've got a feeling we'll really need your help with this investigation. We're still not sure if it'll go to trial, but as Euler's lawyers, we'll do everything that we can. To get this case into court, we'll need a prosecutor to make an indictment. So we have to find enough evidence to prove it's a criminal case. There just has to be something that shows the culprit was somebody other than the Ola. Hmm, Detective Fulbright said there were no weapons in the area other than her. So we'd better look for someone to prove him wrong. I'd better make a note of that so I don't forget. You sure are organized, boss. Maybe I should get a notebook over my own. I just like to jot down notes on the case and the court record as I go along. We can use it as sort of a to-do list. Great idea. I'll add things too. And whenever we're stuck, we can just refer to the notes. To read my notes, I just open the court record and then flip to them. There, note jotted. Now let's investigate this crime scene. 
There has to be some evidence here we can use in court. Examine the crime scene from every angle. Is the key here? That's right. If we change our perspective, we might come across new evidence. Let's first see what we can find. And when we're ready, we can change our perspective. Or if there's a particular spot that's got your attention, get right up to it and look away. Like that outline of the body in the far right there. Of course, talking to everybody involved is one of the keys to a good investigation. Exactly, and if we present items to people, we might learn more. Right, it all boils down to throw a legwork. Well, let's get started. Why do we have another tutorial in this? Doesn't make any sense. By the way, if I were the police, and I was trying to find a killer, the or is her real name, huh? Hey, if I was trying to find the killer, if I thought or was the weapon, well then wouldn't she be the obvious suspect? I'm just saying, she could have trained Ola to kill uh, Captain Jack Shipley here. So, I mean, this doesn't look good for her. Just saying. Bobby Fulbright, the detective assigned to this case. He sure makes a lot of noise, but he appears to be on the side of justice. Ora Shipley, the, or the orca accused of murder. The Ora is her real name. People like to call Ola. She is Sasha's best friend. Why? Why? If her name is Ora, why do you call it Ola? I mean, that's just one letter added to it. it I mean, it would make a lot of sense if her name was Ola and they call her Ora. But why would you call her Ola? Why add the L? Uh, Captain Jack Shipley, the owner of Ship Shape Aquarium. He was found dead in the Orca Pool. Okay, now they mount that. Okay, I think it's time to look around. A setting sun. Sunsets always remind me how quickly the day goes by. Oh, boss, it's just a painted backdrop, you know? Down, Athena. Of course I know. I guess they use it for the swashbuckler spectacular. It looks handmade. Oh, I just got an idea. Why don't we make your own, our own not guilty backdrop? And present it to judge when things aren't going away. No, we put psychological pressure on the judge by hanging it behind the defendant. <laughs> I almost want to see the judge would respond to that. Yes, I agree. That would be amazing. It's a big piece of meat. You know what that looks like from uh, Zelda? Like the old Zelda games when you had a thing of meat? That looks exactly like it. There's a piece of meat and a plastic hoop suspended from the ceiling. Talk about a clashy decor. I guess Ola really likes meat. Who knew they fit in such large texts though? Uh, all orcas are carnivores. You knew that, right? Of course, silly. And I love meat too. Protein is your body's basic building block, after all. But that meat is made out of rubber. I doubt Ola would really eat it, even if she wanted to. You mean to tell me she jumps all the way up there and doesn't get to her reward? <laughs> that poor girl, after all that effort. I love how Widget changes too. I don't think Ola is as dumb as you think she is. Hey look, there's an apparatus here to hang from. I don't think it's for people to hang from. It looks more like a crane to move things with. But Sasha was hanging from it during the swashbuckler spectacular. I bet there are all kinds of ways to use it, not just to move things. Come on boss, try thinking outside the box. Is she trying to say I have a narrow-minded view of things? It doesn't look like the ladder goes all the way down to the bottom of the pool. But there's usually water in the pool, so it doesn't need to. So apparently the pool spans two whole floors. Ordinarily, visitors only get to see what they can from the first floor. But they said on TV that sometimes they get behind the scene tours. Sounds like that Spashbuckler Spectacular shows you recorded is really coming in handy. It's too far away to get a good look. I'd better get a little closer first. So I guess we gotta spin it around. Hello. When we zoom up to this guy, 
Yikes, look at that huge octopus. That must be a show prop too. One of its legs is missing now. Wouldn't it be exciting to take on a huge enemy like that? I'd like to give it a try, myself, as a lawyer, that is. You know you have an insufficient number of limbs to out-object it, right? <laughs> yeah, there is a leg missing, that is kind of weird. I see like this wanted poster, but I can't click on it. Is that show makeup above Ola's eye? That's right. It's a starfish. Kind of makes it look like a punk rock and pirate, don't you think? A punk rock pirate killer whale. Ugh. It's official. Society is on the road to ruin. <laughs> well, I think Ola is one hot rock fish. Speaking of rocking, how do you get Ola to get do what you want during the show? I give her signals with this whistle. Aww. It is adorable. Oh, but I didn't hear anything just now. The sounds out of the range of human hearing. It's just like a dog whistle. Orcs, orcas have better hearing than people do. They even hear the whistle underwater. That's so cool. I wish I could get commands to Ola. Anybody can do that. All they have to do is learn the signals. Here, Athena, you can have one of our whistles. Consider it a present. Whistle added to the court record. A whistle for issuing instruction to Ola. Anyone can use one to command her as long as they know the right signals. Gee, thanks. As for the actual commands, I'm afraid I can't teach them to you. That's top secret. Okay. Don't see anything else. Oh, look at the shark! It's like a cannon shark. Hey, there's a cannon in the shape of a shark. I'd love to try firing that thing. Boom! Are these cannonballs supposed to look like fish eggs or something? Like Dragon Balls, except without stars. Hmm, but why fish eggs? Why not baby sharks? Think about how crazy it would be to have sharks go flying through the air. Watch the thrilling life for death struggle as little attacks fight to stay alive at the water. I can see it now. The drama, the mayhem, the whirlwind of teeth. A, a tornado of sharks? Not even Hollywood could conjure up something that insane. <laughs> ah, that's great. I love it. Ah. Uh. What a mess. What's well, all this stuff knocked over when the victim struggled with this killer? It's possible, but it would be hard to prove. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Look at all this stuff scattered everywhere. I see some swords. I wonder if they have anything to do with the case. They're made of rubber. I doubt they would be used as a weapon. But I'd still bet if someone got whapped with one, it would sink quite a bit. Yeah, I guess it would. But I think I could stand the pain. Yeah? Good for you. Oh, look. There's a blow-up dolphin in Anchor, too. Mr. Wright, are you even listening to me? Stop looking at those toys. Yikes. Guess I've been caught red-faced. Oh, so this is where the body was found, huh? If they suspect Ola, maybe they found some evidence of an attack on the victim. Ola didn't attack the captain! She loved him! The captain rescued Ola when she was little, after she got beached on the shore. He tried to release her into the ocean, but she kept coming back. I can tell Ola is sad about losing the captain. She's not, she's not her usual chip herself. Ola must really love this aquarium and the captain. She's the only one around here big and strong enough to play with the big tough captain. Every day she made a point of headbutting him and stealing his hat. Yikes! I guess you weren't kidding when you said the captain was a really strong guy. I guess that's about it. No, it's not it! I have a lot to look at! Under different circumstances, I would have loved to see the show Swashbuckler Spectacular. The three of us always performed the show together. Me, Ola, and the captain. 
Today's show has been canceled, but we could put on a little performance for you now. We be capping all the swashbuckles, me buckos. We love to sail the seven seas. We come to route that mangy black of the dread pirate no stash. Avast! There he be, no stash himself. Pay to feed the fish. Um, am I playing the role of no stash? Well, such as a stash, and you don't, so I guess so. But I'm with your water cannon, Captain. It's been no quarter. I'm about to get drenched, aren't I? Totally. Arg! I remember that was like my favorite thing going to the aquarium getting splashed. Aww. You send through storms and waves, all because you see. Grand treasure and adventures waiting just for me. Wow, that was awesome. Your performance packed quite a wallop. Yeah, I for one feel like I took quite a beating. Sorry about that. Can't have a show without a bad guy ball, right? But a singing orca, huh? Must have been tough to train her to do that. That's Ola's best trick. She can only sing one song, though. Well, she's still got one up on a pianist who can't even play one song. <laughs> well, now that we've had a taste of the show, we better do some more investigating. Good idea. Let's go to the aqua tunnel. I still had stuff to examine. I still had stuff to examine. Okay, we're over this way. Oh look, there's a ball in the water. Is that another pop for the show? That's one of Ola's toys. She plays volleyball with it. It's usually in the bin. Guess I must have forgotten to put it away yesterday. Wow, I wish I could play volleyball with Ola. You have as much fight in you as a mean old lobster. I like it. There aren't even many people who want to be on the receiving end of Ola's fastball. Her, her fastball? Well, yeah. She likes to be naughty and slam the ball into things around the pool. You should hear the sound that ball makes when it crashes into stuff. Uh, uh, well, maybe some other time. She suddenly went from fighting lobster to reluctant hermit crab. The doors are slightly open and there are police officers standing guard outside. I guess they're watching to make sure we don't try any funny business. Well, now that you said it, I suddenly feel the urge to do something. How about if I suddenly break out some squat exercises? That would be pretty funny. Yeah, that might cause a few raised eyebrows in ways you don't want, Athena. Wait, I can't look at the hats? Why can't I look at the hats? I mean, come on, the hats are cool. Looks like the control panel for that crane apparatus. There's sure a lot of buttons. When I see this many buttons, I start to get fidgety. I know what you mean. You start itching to push them, right? Nah, I start itching to make a psychological study of people who want to push buttons. Wow, that's complicated. <laughs> Need I remind you that I'm your boss, not your guinea pig? I think that's everything. There's some things I want to look at, but the game's not letting us look at. Oh. Ola is not going to notice me from here. I better move around to the front. Okay, I think we can leave now. July 20th, Ship Shape Aquarium. Aqua Tunnel. So, you all done investigating the bull right here? We had a good look around, but now we're moving on to other areas. How is the police investigation going? Did you, say for example, find any other suspects besides Ola? Ha ha ha! Wouldn't that be fortunate for you if we did? But no, I'm afraid not! 
And even more unfortunate for you! I'm afraid we find decisive evidence of the Orca's guilt. Wait, what? P please, tell us more, detective. Prove the Orca did it. So, what's this decisive evidence? Don't hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll understand, Detective Felbright. I am very sorry, but I can't share classified information with the defense. Especially not security footage that shows the moment the Orca attacked the victim. Yep, I'm the personally see to it that this baby stays safe. It will never leave my side. Excuse me, but there's a call for you, detective. I'll be right there. Sorry, guys, you know how it is. Well, he never said that he wouldn't leave its side, I guess. Now, let's take a peek. Hey, hey, absolutely. What the? Heck is going on here? So 10:09 p.m. or a.m. Tough to tell. The 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 Ola's ramming a rock. Is this supposed to be the moment Ola attacked the victim? There's no attack here. Video showing the orca pull from the visitors corridor. The verge starts at the cram's 10 a.m. opening time. This little bit of footage doesn't prove anything. I agree. I believe in Ola and Sasha. Let's just continue with our investigation. Good idea, huh? There's a sticker on this camera that says, Return to the pub or danger. Guess somebody there manages the cameras? Let's check it out later. Sorry about that! Prosecutor Black will call to remind me to go feed Taka! Yeah, you better do that, the bird's gonna kill you. <laughs> So, uh, is, is Prosecutor Blackwell gonna be our prosecutor? So, where were we? Oh, that's right. You two got any more questions for me? No, we're good. Thank you. For leaking all your info. Ha ha ha! I have nothing to say about that. The lawyers of any metal, you'll find the answers yourselves. The poor victim! It's heart wrenching Crime cannot go unpunished! We don't want crime to go unpunished either. But we'll do our best to defend our client. Hmm, your former justice or mine! Which is true justice? I guess we'll see how it plays out. In other words, he doesn't have enough information right now to make up his mind. Thank you for the translation, Athena. So, that's your symbol of justice, is it? So, this is mine! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Just hiccuped. Sorry about that. I'm good now. Wow, he can whip that patch out pretty fast. We can top that. Take this. Twin attorney's badges. Arg, no fair. Two against one. No fair. Your police badge is bigger and flashier. What? You dare call me unfair? Me, the very model of justice itself? Boss, I'd say we won this round. Athena. In the battle, there are- in this battle, there are no winners. Aww. Aww, we hurt his feelings now. Oh well. Puppet danger! Oh, look how cool this place is! Skeleton at the top, the jellyfishes in the bottle, the little adorable sea otter, a walrus? That's a walrus. It's not a sea otter. It, 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 I love otters. They're the second best animal next penguins. But so, a little walrus on the side. And then uh, where people are drinking, there's like this, this setup with the, uh, the pirate treasure. Oh, and look in the back in the window. You can see the fish. It's such a cool place. And the electric eel is lighting up the um the light bulb. July twentieth, ship shape aquarium, Pobo Danger. This looks like one of those hands-on exhibits. Is this it has a real air of danger, don't you think? Well, the banner does say it's the pub of danger. Let's see. According to the description, this room is 
A pub where pirates gather, exploit and interact with sea creatures. Actually, feel the electricity of electric eels and feed real piranhas. Experience the terror of the seas with these dangerous experiments. All of those sound less like terror and more like torture to me. Ahem, I think you need to keep it down there, blue boy. I'm conducting an experiment. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? But do not disturb me unless you wish to be zapped with an electric eel. But my apologies, ma'am. Wow, she seems intense. Excuse me, but who are you? Before you ask others, shouldn't you give your name first? Basic manners, young lady. Oh, yes, of course. My name is... Never mind, I will simply call you Yellow Girl. It's easier that way. I am Norma de Plume. I am a very interested in Shipship Aquarium and am a frequent visitor here. But, but I, I don't want to be Yellow Girl. You think I want to be called Blue Boy? Uh, let's just see what she has to say. Norma de Plume. You say you're interested in the aquarium, but don't look like a staff member. Hmm. Let's see. I've got it. You're someone completely unrelated to this aquarium. That's some deductive reasoning there, champ. I am a visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest, and what might you be? I'm not a what. I'm a lawyer. Hey, that's what I was going to say. And I run a law office. Well, whatever you are, I don't have the slightest interest. Grr. Just who does she think she is, boss? A visitor, a patron, a customer, a guest. Remember? <laughs> uh, why are you here? I thought they closed the aquarium and weren't letting members of the public in. But I have special permission, you see. And why exactly is that, if I might ask? Well, because of the incidents I've said too much. Oh, we haven't seen this in a long time. I, I remember this. Cyclox. Oh, we haven't seen this in a very long time. I, I will... This is a great spot, though. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here because this is, like, perfect spot to end on. Uh, much love to you, everyone. I love you all so very much. Thank you for everything. Y'all are the number one YouTube community in all of YouTube. Can't thank you enough for all that you do. Uh, and I will see you again very, very soon on more of our blind let's play of Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Until next time, so long. And take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.